The purpose of this video is to show you how you can use the Chrome browser to help your students um, hear text be read out loud or you know, on the other side speak their text and have it turn it um, into text on the page. To do this we need to use Chrome extensions. So I'm going to show you how to find these extensions and how to install them. So right now I'm on our district's home page but if I go up to apps, which is right here on the top left, it looks like a little waffle and it says apps. If I click on that, and web store is the first one here. So in the web store, we can search for extensions and apps. I'm just going to click on extensions because these are all extensions. The first one that's really, really nice is um, called Speak It. And when I search for it, there it is right there. The extension speak it and then all I need to do is add it to Chrome and then I'll choose add and there's speak it right up there all my extensions show up right to the right of what we call the Omni box or the search box now when you first do this notice that you can adjust the settings so you can test it here this is a test text for Google Chrome extension called speak it Notice that you can slow down the speaking rate, which is really great for young learners. You can change the volume or the voices. Um, you can certainly customize this. Um, but let's go back to the web store. I'm just going to click out of this. The next one that I really, really like is Read and Write. And when I search for that, Read and Write for Google, there it is. So I'm going to add this to Chrome. This reminds me a lot of um, Dragon Dictate, which um, you know, used to cost a ton of money. This does pretty much all the same thing. Now notice read and write actually kind of lives up here. It will, um, it will uh, highlight or it will show up when you can use it on a page. And the last tool that I wanted to show, um, there is, if you just search for like speech to text, And you have all kinds. I have used speech recognition for text inputs. Now, Speak It will, um, can do the same kind of thing, but let's just add that one too. Okay, so now let's look at how this works. Let's say I was a student and I was researching something. So I'm going to go to my favorite kid search engine, which is Kid Rex. And let's say I was doing a report on, I don't know, harbor seals. And I always teach kids how to use, uh, how to make a smarter search. So if I'm a kid and I'm searching, I'm going to type in Harbor Seal Facts for Kids and then click search. And sweet. So we have some information. Let's look at bio kids. Okay. Now, this is not necessarily early elementary appropriate, right? This is, this is not great. So what I can do is, when I have these extensions, let's say if I highlight this and then I go to speak it. The bodies of harbor seals are specialized for diving and living in cold water. They have big round heads and long, flat flippers made of five web digits. This is really a game changer. We have found that for our younger students, um, they're able to do much more in-depth research when they have a little help with the reading end. Um, so something as simple as an extension like this can really, really help. Um, let's look at read and write. Let's say we were working on something like a Google Doc. Let me just create a new Google Doc here. All right, this is where we can start to use fun things like read and write. Um, now, actually, read and write usually pops up when you get into a Google Doc. Read and write has a new look. Okay, that's fine. So notice, see a little read and write right here? This will pop up when it can help you with this. So let's click on it. And let's see what we have here. We can play text that's already entered. So let's just say, um, read, let me type this in. Read this text out loud. And now, so if I do read, watch this. Let me put my cursor at the beginning. Read this text out loud. So that's nice. It does the same thing before, but we could also use speech to text, which is so cool. So this is going to use my microphone and it is going to do speech recognition and it will type out what I say. So let's try it. Oops, I have to allow access to my microphone first. We are now testing 
the voice to text capabilities of this extension. So notice it's not perfect, but if kids are speaking slowly and clearly, it should work a little bit better. So let's try one more time. I am typing a test sentence. There we go. Now, um, it won't punctuate unless you say something like period or things like that, but check it out. It will take their voice and then put the words on paper. So if you have a hesitant writer, this can be a huge, huge thing to get them to just start to get words on paper, even if they're using their voice to do that. So I just want to show you a couple of those tools, and I hope you find them to be useful.